Tonight it's the New York Rangers and the Calgary hey. Flames. Hey, just a second. Hey. A couple of teams that really have a strong similarity hey, that will. Move I can over, see. Bud. I can see it's time to go to the two shot now. I didn't want to do this now, but I have to. Ladies and gentlemen, they have let him out of his cage. Somebody actually paid the ransom for Steve Levy to leave the National Hockey Night Studios in Bristol. Your first play-by-play -play game. Get your feet wet right away. You are a New York guy. Tell me about the New York Rangers. Tell them about the New York Rangers. Well, I don't know if you can tell, Bill, but there is a buzz here. There is some legitimate concern with the Rangers. They have dropped one of their last two games. And the way these guys have played all year, that's almost like a losing streak. Here's Kovalev in the corner. For a for Amati, he scores! And it cranked off the post. Tony Amati from Alexi Kovalev. And the Rangers take the 1-0 lead. Bill, that play might have been made actually in the neutral zone. Kovalev going coast to coast. It was, but the breakdown occurred once he got deep in the flame zone because Tony Amani was wide open in front, and this is where the Flames are going to hurt. Believe it or not, as you see this play, the Flames have now used 12 defensemen this season. And when you've got that big a mishmash, you're going to miss assignments. Watch this. See, Kovalev right out front. And Petit was one of them, and Kevin Dahl was the other one, number five. And neither one of them was close enough to Tony Amati. So everything is out of sync. It's such a great advantage to know your defense partner. And the Flames have been so banged up, there have been no partnerships. Back for it is Calgary's Michelle Petit. So the Rangers take the 1-0 lead on Tony Amati's goal. And now they look for more as they continue to forecheck the Flames to death.